Welcome back to a new episode where I want to insert videos inside a website in two different ways. The first way will be basically to do the same thing as adding images. So we will be creating a folder in our root folder, but instead of calling it images, we will call it video. And the second way is by inserting a video using a link called embedding. The first thing that I want to do is to go to my root folder. So HTML tutorials. And as you can see, I have a folder called images, so IMG. So I want to create a new folder called videos. What I recommend you to do is to download a video from the web, or if you already have a video, just put it inside the videos folder. I already have one, so I will go inside my videos folder and I will paste it right here. The most commonly used file formats are MP4, MOV, or WAV. But most browsers will actually support almost all file formats nowadays. For this video, I will be using an MP4 because all browsers do actually support MP4. Now that we have our video, we need to go back to our index.html file to create a video element. Now, if you're new to this course, you can create your video element right inside the body tag. Don't pay attention to anything that's written down right above. The first thing that I want to do is to create a div. Hit enter, and I want to give it an ID of content-video. Inside the div, I want to create an H2 with the text of my video in between. I also want to create an HR tag, so it will look pretty similar to the sections above, and this is actually optional if you're not following this course. Right below our HR, let's start creating our video, and the way we create a video is by a tag called video. So let's write that down and let's hit tab. And this element embeds a media player which supports video playback into the document. And just like the image element, you can see that the source is automatically created for us. So that's actually the first thing that I want to do is to add the source. Our video is placed right inside the videos folder, forward slash, and the video name is called introduction punctuation mark, mp4. And just like images, you actually do need to add your file extension after the file name. There are a couple other attributes that you could create inside your video element. So right after the source, let's hit space, where we could specify if we want the video to be auto-played or not. And this is a Boolean value, which means that it is either true or false. So if we do write down auto-play, the video will be auto-played for us. And if we remove it, the video will not be auto-played and the user needs to click on the video first. I actually do recommend you to do not use auto-play because it's a pretty unpleasant user experience. So I recommend you to avoid auto-play at any cost. Now, if we save it and we go back to the browser and well, let's refresh it and let's scroll down. You can see that the video is added, but we have no control over a play button, a pause button, or the volumes. And in order to add this, we need to use an attribute called controls. So let's go back to our index.html, and right after the source, hit space, and let's write down controls. And this is used to specify the control to play a video. So let's save it. Let's go back to the browser and refresh the video. And you can see, well, it's pretty zoomed in right now, that we have a sound button, a full screen options, and we have a play button. Well, you can see that the video is full screen right now. So what I want to do is to go to the style sheet. And right after our last piece of text, let's add a comment that says adding a video. And let's start by styling the div first. So let's say hashtag content dash video. And the first thing that I want to do is to set the margin equal to zero auto because I want to style it in the center. So we need to add text align center as well. And I want to add a padding of 80 pixels top, zero right, zero bottom, zero left. So let's save it and test the output. Well, there's nothing happening with the video, but the text of my video and the HR are placed in the center right now. Let's go back to the style sheet and right below my content video styling, I actually want to style the video. 
So you can see that there is no space between, well, the video and the HR. So let's add a margin of 80 pixels top and the rest is zero. I also want the video to be smaller. So let's add a width of 500 pixels. And in order to give it a cool background effect, let's add a box shadow of zero pixels, zero pixels, 10 pixels, and the color is black. I also want to change the cursor because right now if we hover on the video, my cursor is not changing. So let's add cursor, colon, and let's change it to a pointer. So whenever we hover on the video, let me refresh it, the cursor will change into a pointer and users can actually see that this is clickable to start the video. What we have done right now is to add an internal video on our page. But what you could do is to add videos from YouTube or Vimeo. A huge benefit and what I actually recommend you to do is to always use videos from an external source because it will make your website load faster since it does not need to load the video from your root folder. Since using a video nowadays takes a lot of space because while well, you have 4K, 8K and so on, this means that your video will take a lot of space. And in order to add videos from an external source, we need to embed the video. So the first thing that I want to do is to go to youtube.com. And I actually love traveling to Asia. So let's write down Tokyo 4K. And the reason why I'm searching for a 4K video is to show you that the load time will be fast as well. So you can choose whatever video you actually want. I will just choose the Japan night in 8K. Let me pause the video. If we scroll down, well, next to the like and dislike button, you can see a button called share. So let's click on it. And you can see that the pop-up just appeared on our screen with a couple of options. And just like I said, we need the embed option. So let's click on it. So we've been redirected to our embed video. And this is pretty cool because YouTube will provide us with a couple of options. If you don't want your video to start at the beginning, you can actually check the first box and you can change the time. So it will start at, the, well, let's say at 20 seconds. You can also remove the show player controls. So the YouTube icon right inside of the middle will be removed. And you can also enable privacy enhanced mode. And this is something that we actually do not need. But what this basically does is that it will not store information on your website unless they start the video. So what we need to do is to copy our iframe link. Let's go back to our index.html. And we can, well, replace it with the video element. So let's paste it right here. Let's save it. And let's go back to our index.html. Let's refresh the browser. If we play the video, you will see that the playtime is exactly, well, let me pause the video sound and let's go back to our index.html You can see that this video is, well, adding a lot of attributes. So let's remove our width and our height because we want to do that in our style sheet. Save it. Let's go back to our style sheet and we can actually replace video with iframe. If we refresh the browser right now, you can see that only the width is applied to the video. And for some sort of reason, the height will not change whenever you use an iframe. So let's go back to the style sheet and let's change the width to 560 pixels. And we also need to set the height to 315 pixels. Save it, refresh the browser, and we have our video back. This was it for this episode, and in the next episode, I want to create a footer. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.